YouTube, YouTube, what is good? It is me back again with another YouTube video. Um, here today I have Royal Guardians as you can see. And today we're gonna be talking about optimal build paths. And before I get into discussing the optimal build path, I ask that you guys please like the comp. Why do I keep saying like the comment? <laughs> like the video for me, please, please, please like the video for me and subscribe if you can. Um, and comment down below what you want to see next. Um, I would love to discuss more things about the game because it's still relatively new to um, certain countries and stuff like that. Um, so, um, yeah. So today we're going to be talking about optimal builds. <laughs> and really there's two main builds i would suggest everyone to build and then off of those two main builds you can take out an item and replace it with another item but like i said i'm going to discuss all of that with you guys today um but yeah let's get into it so first um optimal build we're going to talk about is really the raw damage um build this build is going to like i said just give you a lot of damage uh your, the sure survivability is going to come off of you healing and your tank tanking, you know, soaking up damage in your healer, just pushing out as much um, healing as possible. Outside of that, your damage is going to be phenomenal. It's, it's going to be cracked out, so you're not going to have to worry about damage. You're probably going to just be melting everything on your screen anyways. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get into the build path. So what you want to buy? I would suggest you get AWM first, but you know how the game is sometimes. They don't want to roll you what you want. So I'm just going to go through the whole build path first, and then I'm going to tell you guys what to get super early if you can. But regardless of the fact, if you're able to get all of the items for the raw damage build, you're going to be just fine. Um, so yeah, first you're gonna build um, AWM. The reason why is because you get Overlord stacks. With Overlord stacks, you get increased damage by 30%, as it says here, and then you lose speed, attack speed, but you're not gonna worry about that because what I'm showing you is gonna negate the attack speed, and you're actually gonna be attacking a lot faster than the uh, debuff that you get from Overlord, okay? But you're gonna go AWM. It doesn't matter if you have tier three or four, as long as you have tier two, you're perfectly fine because you're gonna get the Overlord stacks. Then you're gonna come down and get Scope. Scope, again, is gonna give you more damage to everyone. Each stack of Overlord reduces attack speed by 40%, but you get an increased damage of 50%, okay? So just off of that, you're doing 80% more damage, but you're gonna have 75% more uh, reduce the attack speed but again don't worry about that so we discussed two items and then you're going to come down to the rifle and this item is is phenomenal um everyone again getting damage every attack has a 50 percent chance to shoot wide the damage is reduced by 20 percent or 50 percent chance to bullseye and increase your damage even more by 60 percent at that point, you're, you're, you're doing an incredible amount of damage, more than 100% 100 100 damage just off of these three items alone. Um, the 20%, I'm pretty sure, is getting negated by the um, uh, AWM and the tier scope. So just off of that alone, 100% increased damage is, is huge. Um, again, you don't have to worry about having tier 3 wherever you are in the game. As long as you have tier 2, you get the Overlord stacks. All right, and this is three items right here. Okay, we're gonna discuss two more items because you can get a total of six items, I believe. Okay, you're gonna come over to the artifact, the uh, magic stone or the mage. So when you see this, this is what you wanna build the magic stone to get any of these items. And then for the um, archer is the arrow. You guys should know that if you're <laughs> you played the game for at least 10 minutes right um so here you want to get wizard robe the wizard robe is going to um give you a 50 percent chance to gain a stack of fury which is going to give you more damage like i said this is a raw damage you're going to have a ton of damage and you're going to get obviously a stack of fury 50 percent chance so every other hit you're going to probably get a, a fury stack right 
doesn't matter again if you have tier three or not that just increases your stacks but if you get it obviously it's going to be even more more um effective um, and then you're going to come down here and build ring this is where this is why i say the attack speed debuff doesn't matter because with ring and fury combination you want to get the rope first that's the only way you can get the attack speed this is why this build is um very very good but outside of that let me mute my discord really quick before someone joins and yeah see someone just joined I, i'm a god i knew it all right but sorry um so yeah you're gonna get ring so you get attack speed for every fury stack and yeah that's just gonna pretty much four stacks of um fury is pretty much going to negate a majority of the um attack speed uh debuff that you get from the the um awm and the scope um i can throw in a, a clip in the uh in this video to just show you how crazy the build is and how fast you're attacking um, i'm gonna put it in right here Right, now that you guys have seen that build in action, let's talk about the last item for the raw damage build. Um, so this is really going to depend on who is your main damage dealer. If you have um, your mage or archer or, or an assassin doing the majority of the damage, you want to get either the crystal for the mage, which is just gonna increase the damage by 20% for each level upgrade. For your archer, same thing. You're going to want to get the bow. Same thing. You're just going to give it your main damage dealer a shit ton of more damage so they can really just start nuking. And then same thing for the assassin. You can go boots. Um, Again, it depends on who your main damage dealer is. So for the raw damage build, you want to go wizard robe into ring. Um... I suggest that you get wizard robe before you get the ring because these two go hand in hand if you get the ring you won't be getting fairy stacks so you want to get the robe first then the ring then you know you could do aw scope tier um again for these two you want to get the awm first because that gives you the overlord stacks you can't get scope and then get overlord stacks because it says each stack of overlord so this is going to give you overlord every attack grants one stack of overlord so you want to make sure you get the awm before you get the scope for the rifle you can get rifle before you get awm that's perfectly fine i do it all the time because this um last part you have a 50 percent chance to hit bullseye and do 60 percent damage that is huge um but yeah that's pretty much it for the raw damage build again make sure you get the bread and butter or the the core item for the build first so if you're going to go start with the damage you need to get awm first if you want to do the attack speed with fury damage you need to get wizard robe first so you go to wizard robe into ring if you want to start with the attack speed and damage first and if you want to just do raw damage you can start you have to start with the awm okay um cloud arrow in my opinion is useless like no one cares about that same thing for like wand and shit like no one buys that in my opinion like if you ever look at the challenges no one's buying those items they're usually buying this raw damage and then the next um optimal build i'm going to discuss with you guys which is the um constant healing um path this one gives you a shit ton of damage as well though so um yeah let's get into it so for this one um it all depends on really how strong your healer is and how good your survivability is um you can still build it but i wouldn't go into blood bag and syringe early i would go into blood bag and syringe late so if your team isn't the great uh the greatest at healing and surviving go awm into scope into um rifle into um blood bag and then syringe and the reason why 
I'm telling you guys to build blood back into syringe is because this is going to go into two states. You're going to lose 4% of your health every second, and then you're going to recover 2.5 every second, right? 2.5% of your max HP, but it's still every second. And then what syringe does is for every 8% of maximum health you lose, you um, your attack is increased by 40% for three seconds. And these two in combination, you're always stacking the 40% all the time. The whole time you're stacking 40%. Again, for tier three, tier four, or tier three, tier four, if you don't have it, it's okay. The build is still godlike. Um, yeah, so you want to do, um, if you aren't super tanky and survival, um, survival based, don't go blood bag and syringe super early. Go blood bag syringe, um, mid to late in the chapter. It doesn't matter what chapter you're on. Um, unless again, you have super, uh, you know, survivability. Like if you have Freya and then the S tier tank or, a, or a, um, what's his name? You have a Freya or what's her name? Uh, Eva. Because of the fury combination here i mean that's just gonna make her do damage but you're gonna be attacking a lot um or um tina is a very good one as well i think if you have them too then you should be okay with surviving um even catherine i think you should be okay <laughs> but you know the most optimal is to have Freya and then obviously Jorn for the max survivability and healing. But again, you, you should be okay with um, the healer I mentioned. Also, if you have Kenneth or um, Brownie, you should be decent. I don't have any food, so I can't really show you guys everything because yeah, I was upgrading. You should be okay um, to go blood bath, uh, blood bag and syringe first. But again, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, you get those two items and then the same thing, you come back to, um, sorry, you come back to mage items and you wanna get wizard robe into ring. So then you get your damage and your attack speed with the blood bag and the syringe. That's four items right there. And then you can um, come down to archer and get rifle. Uh, let me just check really quick on how many. Oh, it's going to cancel me out. Shit. Let me go into a quick challenge. I I can't remember how many. Um, how many items you have is that's sad. As much as I play the game, I don't even know how many items you can carry. <laughs> um, two, four, six. OK, so yeah, six items. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so yeah, so um, you want to get blood bag syringe, which is two. Come over to wizard robe and ring, which will give you four. Then you can do AWM for even more um, damage and then go lastly rifle. I personally like to go rifle. You guys can go scope, but rifle gives you that 60%. And instead of having a, a ton of um, debuff attack speed, which honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> this um, rifle is just good because you get the widespread of damage, even though it's reduced by 20%, you still get a widespread. So you're hitting more enemies. And you have the chance with the bullseye attack with the 60%. But, but again, you could go scope as well, <laughs> or you could negate um a w m and scope and just get rifle and go back to what i mentioned earlier to your main damage dealer and either go crystal bow or boots and just give all your raw damage to one um damage dealer which will work perfectly fine because that damage dealer is going to be 
you know, providing you with a ton of damage just based off the wizard robe ring combination and the blood bag syringe combination. So yeah, those are the two um, main bread and butter uh, combinations or build paths. And I'm not even gonna say in my opinion, it's pretty well known if you've been playing the game for a decent amount of time. Like for example, if you come over to events and do the daily challenge you see people are building the exact same thing i'm telling you guys to build so it's it's really a no-brainer um rifle into um awm and sometimes people do little little um random stuff like that but for the most part you guys should be good here's another example into the blood bath blood bag into um syringe awm he probably has a rifle or he probably has wizard robe ring mage item because he wants the mage to just do a ton of damage because this mage has fury build in i'm pretty sure so yeah and just the same thing you see it over and over again the exact same thing i'm telling you guys to build blood bag syringe the core assassin item rifle into either wizard robe ring or awm right uh oh he has a rifle there so awm and then that's probably it blood but syringe blood bag oh yeah he could have got wizard robe ring or awm scope you guys get the point <laughs> this guy wins something super off off the edge but these survival rates are really they're down really bad so like these guys are building but it's not the, the most optimal builds that's why you can see the huge difference in just survival time it's almost two minutes below even with this guy building this he probably could have survived a lot longer because the, the disparity or, or change between these two alone is huge same with this guy huge but this is also rng a lot of the times um but yeah guys hopefully that video helped you guys out a bit um there are some honorable mentions you could also if you were really desperate for survivability you could build shield which is going to reduce damage um also one of the other things i like to build is an assassin and it is um dart or dagger oh i'm so sorry not dart or dagger bracelet this is a, a very underrated item I, I really enjoy building it um you guys can see if it works for you um it, you just increase the damage for each attack against the same target by one percent it goes up to 50 percent and again, if you have the uh, wizard robe and ring here, you're stacking that a ton. So you're probably getting it maxed out within like three or four um, reloads, probably a little less. Cause you gotta account for everyone hitting the same target. So you're probably getting it within the first or second reload. Um, but yeah, honorary missions, definitely um, think about going bracelet and shield. But outside of that, everything else is pretty, I wouldn't say it's useless, but it's just, it's just not that great. Cause you have to like for bleed build, you have to sacrifice another item to get your bleed damage to do even more damage. And it's just, you could, I guess, go core with your dagger and then build AWM into the rifle, into scope, into wizard robe ring you know that works too <laughs> but the first two builds i mentioned are definitely the most optimal because you see it time and time and time again which only validates my point that they are um the best of the best so yeah that's going to be it for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i appreciate you um right now i'm just showing you how what rank i am on my server um, we'll be breaking through top 10 on a long chapter soon. And then soon enough, we'll be 
um, top 10 in power. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.